Hi there, let's see how easy it is to migrate an Oracle database to Exadata database dedicated service on Oracle and Google Cloud. For this migration, we'll follow Oracle's maximum availability architecture best practices and use Oracle Zero Downtown Migration, ZDM. First, let's provision the target Oracle database. For Oracle database at Google Cloud, there are two initial options. You can run the Oracle Exadata database dedicated service, or you can run the Oracle Autonomous database service. In this demo, we will be migrating to the Exadata database dedicated service. We have already created infrastructure. Normally this process asks information like instance ID, region, and machine configuration. We have also created the required VM clusters. So let's click on the cluster we will be using and where our target database will reside. This will take us to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. This integration is vital and makes it seamless for you to deploy your mission critical databases on the Exadata database dedicated service, but directly running in a Google Cloud data center. Thus, leveraging the power of the Oracle database on Exadata infrastructure to run all your applications on Google Cloud. Now, let's scroll down. Here we can see the virtual machines for our target two node cluster, the database homes, the databases, and much more. For this demo, we have already provisioned the database home and created a database. How does the database creation look like? Let's see. When clicking on the Create Database option, we can enter information like what database home to use, or we want to provision a new one, the database name, username, and credentials. We can also add other details like TDE, wallet information, backup settings, and more. Now we can start a database migration. For this demo, ZDM is deployed in a virtual machine that can be deployed anywhere. We have an on-premises database and a target database that was just shown. ZDM will orchestrate the migration from A to Z using its physical online methodology with direct data transfer. By doing this, ZDM creates a standby database in the cloud using restore from service and then leverages Oracle Data Card for the ongoing synchronization. Finally, ZDM will switch over and perform final validations and finish the migration. How would it look like? On the left, you can see the ZDM terminal. On the top right, you can see the on-premises Oracle database. On the bottom right, you can see the Exadata database dedicated service on Google Cloud. We have pre-filled ZDM's response file and have a script ready to execute first an evaluation. And upon success, we will execute the actual migration. ZDM's evaluation mode helps us address anything required prior to the actual migration. Now that the evaluation was successful, let's migrate an Oracle database to the cloud. One single command and ZDM's automation will migrate your Oracle database from on-premises to Exadata database dedicated service at Google Cloud. For this migration, we asked ZDM to pause after configuring the standby in Google Cloud. All database workload and ongoing synchronization will continue. Only ZDM will be idle and waiting to resume. By doing this, we can perform some tests and checks on the standby database in the cloud. After checking both databases, its data card relationship and the roles, we can execute the resume command at ZDM's terminal and the migration will proceed and then complete successfully. Finally, we can check that the target database in the cloud is a primary database. This means that the migration was a success. We now go back to the console in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. We can verify the database, its metrics, and activity, and its state after a successful migration. This shows the power in the simplicity and automation of Oracle Zero Downtime Migration, helping you and countless of customers to migrate their databases to the cloud. If you want to learn more, please visit our product website. Thanks a lot for watching.